hitting F9. Oh, we are recording. Awesome. Hello. Hey guys, we're recording at 17 frames a second because um, everything's Traps. broken. It does say that it's Run 8 Train Simulator. It makes me happy. Awesome. Um, I gotta go back to my engine. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wait, Where did you this in the high rail? No, seventy six, seventy nine, Union Pacific ES forty four. Okay, so the only thing is we're you, gonna keep uh, our voices down a bit because of people upstairs sleeping. But let's see. Auto ah, start, auto MU, but, um, auto CB, auto VOT. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm. I'm recording right now. So this has been. Uh, okay. Hey guys, this is Master Key here. With Alpha 1 or Admiral Mape. And this is actually during my recording. And I don't mind. I genuinely do not mind a uh, Master Key recording. In, in during... the words of uh, Will Smith, I ain't even mad. Hmm? In the words of Will Smith, I ain't even mad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. The only reason why I mention that is because I'm recording at around the same time and I've been recording for over two hours. In fact, for two and a half hours, give or take. So Master Key is gonna have some fun now in the yard. I'm doing switching at, I think it's Bakersfield. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Oh, wait, that's the full length train. Okay, so oh, I have to wow. navigate my way around this parked freight train. Awesome! To get into the yard. I think I'm moving a little too fast for this. Uh, let's take a look at where we need to go. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, we got a ways to go. No, I was just uh, looking at um, the Shift F3 window. Only the big problem I have is that every single time I hit F12, it repositions something. It repositions the fraps counter. I'm doing 26 in the yard right now, but I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> yard limit is 15. Well, I throttled up a little too high, so. Oops. This is the reason why I stay in notch one, everyone. Especially in the yard. Yeah. Well, I throttled up a little too high, mainly because I needed to get moving, because I thought my brakes were on, because I had coasted to a stop from, like, 10 miles an hour. Ah! Oh, which brings up something really, really funny and really, really stupid um, mean, our, we did our, one time. Oh, uh, our switching uh, back at dams? No. Parking brake. Oh, you mean where we almost sheared the parking brake off the ES-44s? Yup. So yeah. what happened was, is we... came we over to my were... house, and we had uh, my rail driver set up. And so what happens is, is we're trying to figure out a way to disable the parking brake. Because we didn't know where the control was at the time. Yeah, we now know what it is. It's F5. But, um, what we did, what I did, was I started throttling up thinking it was an automatic parking brake. It wasn't. <laughs> Notch 1, parking brake is still on. Notch 2, parking brake is still on. Notch three, parking brake is still on. And we got notch to notch eight four. and we started moving. No. No. At around notch four, maybe notch five, the wheel slip indicator was on. And it was <laughs> on notch four, the wheel slip indicator came on. 
And I was like, yep, I'm not doing this anymore. And I set the uh, throttle all the way to zero. And then I proceeded to put the throttle back up to run eight. <laughs> and we started moving. <laughs> Albeit with a large grinding noise. Yup. We then discovered two minutes later that the key for that was F5. This track is built to go around a pillar <laughs> on an overpass. That's awesome. The also, alerter, I want the alerter to just know came up. That David, there is no number on the number board here. Meep, what, what's the key for the alerter? Because I just I just got it and I just started Left mashing. Off. Okay, because I started mashing the horn a bunch of times because Z wasn't working. This isn't MSTS, you idiot. It should be. Also, well, fun fact, not. my numpad delete key works as putting the reverser in neutral and reverse if I don't have num lock on. Awesome. Otherwise, it, it turns the bell on and off. Hmm. Uh, for... Hmm. My control scheme is completely different than everyone else's. But, um... In fact... The viewers already know what it is if they've gotten to this point from the beginning. Uh, my but throttle indicator hit my uh, projected speed indicator has been really screwed up. My projected speed indicator is hiding behind my current speed indicator. What I mean is, if I like throttle up to like one or two, it'll jump to like up to eighty. Oh yeah, it does that. It happens with me. It seems to only be Jeevos, though. Yeah. Well, that's because Jeevos are... And, um, B-42s are the only engines in the game right now with MFDs. So, that's the, why. The angle cocks have been reset for normal operation. This is Union Pacific MRV WC2. Would you like permission to press the stop signal and proceed on to the main line? I'm on the main line. Oh. I think. Let me look. I'm, um, one track away from the main line. I think I lost my fraps key. F9. No, I mean, like, I think I lost a different key. Oh. My, uh, overlay key. It needs to mm. be in the top. I... It's F12. Okay, the game is still working, that's all I'm gonna say. I... That's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. That... Over is not what I wanted to do. For those of you wondering uh, what I have for MFDs, I have the train... Hold on, I need to super zoom into the uh, one the MFDs. I have the train stats page up. And then I have the advanced version of the locomotive monitor up. Basically, I have the monitor version of the locomotive locomotive. So, the advanced version of the locomotive monitor is on my left MFD, and my train stats are on my right MFD. And unfortunately, I don't have a conductor, so this MFD is t uh, turned off. So, yeah. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put... 
put a brake on right now. I'm gonna crank the throttle up to notch two. Slowly release the locomotive brake. Brakes are released. We are now moving at three miles, at five miles an hour. Oh. Uh, for those of you who have been playing Run 8 for quite some time now, um, the 2.25.15 uh, update was because of the person who is talking right now. Me? No, me. You're the because, reason for uh, it? Yeah. Because, remember, I kept having uh, graphics uh, problems with my Radeon card. Oh, did they tell you that that was the reason for the update? No, they were... Um, no, I just knew it right off the bat, because I suggested to them... You're why also not the reason for that patch on dams. No. Yeah, because that was the ATI patch DXE, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you were responsible for. Well, that too. But, um, the update, I suggested, um, the use of a uh, auto CB, auto circuit breaker button. For those of us who can't find the circuit breakers. <laughs> because our screens don't show the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, also because the breaker on the P-42 is at your knee. I can so reach that, I just can't reach the start it. button. Hmm? I can reach this breaker is fine, I just can't reach the start button fine on the P-42 because of the way the seat is. Oh, yeah. I figured out where the starter switch is on the P-42. Where? Um... I'm going to physically do this as if I were in the P-42. But, um, if I turn on my flashlight and actually go the right way, let's... and go up. Let's say this right here, and when you see the video, um, Master Key, you'll uh, uh, see what I'm talking about. Let's say this right here is the uppermost part of um, the back panel for the P-42. There are a line of switches similar to this, but not exactly the same, along this uh, panel back here. There's only one row of it, of them. What you want to do is you want to go from this side over left to right like how we read you want to count four and then you want to go over one and you want to click that fifth uh, switch in order to start up the locomotive the one directly next to it I think I can't remember is the engine kill switch. I'll have to listen to the recording again. I'm on my way out of the yard. Why? Are you taking a cut of cars? No, I'm taking that five unit train. Uh. Like, taking a cut of cars onto the main to take him somewhere? Yeah. This was a, a pre-built consist in the summer session. It's like 50 cars. Mm. It's a full-fledged consist. I, I read the, 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 the train name. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Let me click on this. This is Union Pacific MRVWC2. What is it? MRVWC2. M R V W C2. Yep. And because UP is UP, 
I did it in BNSF format. Uh, Jonah? Yeah. Um, that cut of cars is going to West Colton. Okay. So that means you have to go to uh, Barstow in order to actually have them deported over to West Colton. Okay, well I'm going over on the rightmost track onto the main line right now. I'm just transferring out of the yard. Okay. I'm leaving Bakersfield, which is where the train was parked. Wow. I thought I was going to make it all the way to Bissell. I'm all the way at Jim Gray. I'm doing about 20 miles an hour because the last couple of cars are on the switches. I'm doing 38. What notch? 8. But I have slow speed on because of how long my cut of cars is. I'm probably doing closer to 30 now. I have her only a notch 2 as well. That's the funny thing. Hmm. I'm cranking. Okay, now that's the last car. I'm going to quickly run back and close these switches out. Well, according to my engines, I'm high... Or my uh, notch level, I'm highballing it. But according to my speed, I'm not. You're grandmaing it. Yes, exactly. No, grandmaing it is five miles an hour. That's considered fast for, like, engines like 319. Oh, Smoke Belcher. Yeah, remember how fast it told you when she was hauling the train at 77? I was like, 10 miles an hour is pretty fast for her. Yeah. Might be, yeah, out, of her, might, might be out of her speed range, might blow a gasket. Yeah, you might need more uh, smoke pellets in there. I'm getting, like, your frame rates for, uh, this game right now. Wow! I'm getting 14 frame, 14, 15 frames a second according to Fraps. Meanwhile, I'm getting, I get a like, normal fine frame rate with OBS. I'm doing 35. In match 5. Why? I don't know, it's flat level track here. Um, okay then. I'm in hogger mode, too. That's probably why. Because I'm in Piglet. <laughs> I think in P you should be doing these speeds in Piglet, and I should not. In yeah. hogger mode. Hey, Run8, I think you fixed, uh, spread up the difficulty levels. Well, I'm... I forced my engine to, uh, hold that off. Uh, 38 miles an hour. Do I even know the slow speed controls? Control C. Does it indicate it anywhere in the cab? If you're using Jivos, the, uh, speedometer, um, the numbers will turn blue. So I just crank the notch level to notch 8, uh, get up to speed, and when I'm in the P40Us and in an Amtrak train, um, I get up to speed and then I hold at around, uh, 70. Like a one truck, mile an hour under A 70. truck just put its nose through the gate. Awesome! Also, I'm getting about five frames a second. Oh, I'm doing better than you then. And this is what the frame rate set to unlimited. Awesome. Because I... Think, I, I think I'm doing close to 50. My frame rate is also set to unlimited, but I have V-Sync on as well. Oh, that's why. Never turn V-Sync on in this game. Oh, okay. I, I saw no reason for it. I, don't, I never have gotten screen tearing. It's not like Unreal 3 where that, or like Unreal Tournament where, you know, screen tearing can really happen. 
in this game I've never seen and if, if you do see some turn by all means put V-Sync back on but yeah from a cinematic standpoint I may have just gone through another crossing if I need to explain this section something is wrong I'll let you take a guess at which section that is in uh, the options. Wow, a truck stopped inches from the gate. Also, because what you're running team speak, um, I would suggest connecting to the team speak three client and doing channel and then channel uh, number thirteen. Why? Because yeah. I, yeah, I want to see if it works. That's, oh, because I'm... I just heard a, de a detector, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. It said track one. No, I did not move channels. God damn it. Okay. How about channel 12? What's 13 again? Mojave. I would suggest getting to 12 before I do. Oh, so you can listen in on the chat from Dams? No. Uh, so that I know... So that... Um, like, I would... I'm gonna... Oh, so we can hear each other through team through the the radio. Yeah, I'm gonna drag you in there, just right. in case. So, Master Key is going to be AFK for a little bit. I'm gonna set my train forward or set my camera forward that way. A van just drove that. through the gates, and I was a quarter mile out. I. Cranking my um, throttle notches to notch eight. Okay, I'm gonna drag you into twelve. And if that doesn't work, then three. Total axles two, nine, zero. Train speed three, five, MP. That's if team speak would two nine respond. zero is my number of axles. Awesome. Let me go to one. Channel. Okay, I'm on channel one three apparently. Not really picking up much speed. Slow speed on now. Jeez. Hey, my frame rate improved. Yay, it works. You there? Yep. Okay, I got it to work. So what you have to do is you have to connect to uh, TeamSpeak via the TeamSpeak tab and settings. Okay, I'll do that. DTMF. Okay, you should Asterisk be able to hear me now. One, three. Yes, I can. Good. Now you want to do TMF asterisk one three. D 
Yankee TMF asterisk one three. Wait a moment. Waiting for dispatcher to call back. Channel one three. Is that working? No. Because if I do it, I should move. Weird. It's working for me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So let me get this straight. DTMF. Try DTMF pound one three. Okay. Now nothing is happening. Now channel uh one three. Okay, I'm on channel one three. It says I'm in radar channel one three. Well, I didn't see you move. Okay, let me try this. DTMF. Asterisk. One. Three. BNSF BK Tower DNS tone acknowledged. Waiting for dispatcher to call back. I am the dispatcher. No, I'm not. Then what do I have to wait for? Yourself. How do I do that? Channel one three? Ne af after you DT do a DTMF uh, asterisk one three, uh, you uh, want to do uh, channel uh, one three. Okay. Weird, it's working for me. I don't know why it's not working for you. Let's try general. No, it didn't move me to general. I'm in 12 needles DS. Okay, so it was working for me, and then it decided not to. How did well, I get moved there. to number? Well, how did I get moved to number twelve? I put you up there. Or well, I just dragged you up, but it was working for me.
weird. Figure out the radio another time. Yeah. You are still there, right? Yeah, it's kind of pointless. It's, I'm gonna have to cut out a big chunk of my fucking recording now. Nah. I I, I'm gonna leave, leave it, it in there because I'm not gonna edit it too super much. Yeah. Oh, I'm at a red signal. And really? I just went past it, so I'm gonna go try and do something else. Uh, I would suggest setting all your signals ne uh, before well, I you was leave busy next When time. you wanted me to do this channel thing, I was busy moving a train, so... Yeah. I'm HP update, I don't want you. Also, af a uh, year after Windows 10 comes out, I get to... Uh, Grab Windows 10 for free. Oh my god, I get to drive the default GP40. I'm so excited. I can't believe I can actually physically do this. Yeah, you can do that. I didn't realize you could do that. I thought they only worked in multiplayer. No, you can't. I've done it. Oh, uh, for those of you who are watching and made it all the way to the three hour marker which by the way this is now a 1208.5 megabyte file um random fact is random I prefer the Jeevos over the SD40s or the GP40s because A to me aesthetically they look nice B I have to use a glass display, I, and, oh, and I see, I cannot go for old, uh, like, mechanical, um, like, dials and stuff like that. You can't, really can't do the SD40s? I can't do the SD40s or the GP40s. I can, sort of. Yeah, like, I can kinda do it, it's just I don't want to do it because of you're how- gonna, You have to learn, you're gonna have to learn at some point though, that's the only thing I will tell you. Because one of yeah. these days, when you're doing hump yards, remember what the hump yard train is. Yeah, What is it that? the 40s. Yep. To be honest, there's really not much of a difference be be beyond what's on the, those c control panels. Remember, you always have that status bar running. The, um, locomotive monitor on the MFD? Not the MFD, that other bar that is, like, part of use of the same kind of uh, colors your heads-up display. Oh, you, yeah. You always have those running. Well, right now I don't, because I'm using the MFDs. But those are a bit, bit more accurate than, um... The displays on the engines themselves. Okay, can only let's, just let's try us. something. And we are now over three hours. This is my personal uh, YouTube channel recording longest video record. However, not for uh, Master Key. Uh, Jonah? 
Hold on, I, I just realized I had the parking brake on. Um... Don't laugh at me! Someone can't throw a switch because it's stuck. Is that what the radio commentary is telling you? No, that's what I heard from the radio commentary from Pan Am. Are kidding, right? No. Is it? Please tell me it's your switch. Nope. I'm you told me they. You not. told me they once took an hour to get a point set norm. Yeah, it wasn't at 33 though. It was uh, somewhere else. Did I just send myself into a siding? Oops. I think I got a good ways though. I'm gonna explore. I think it's not like a dead end siding. If my mouse would stop dying. Shut up, we know what we're doing. Um, no, it's just a fuel track. With some really tight curves. Wow. Well, with some tight, um, tightish curves. I'm coming in at like 20 miles an hour. You should be going 50, you idiot. I was on the main line. I don't think you understand what testing is like. Also, weren't you gonna play with the hump yard down in Barstow? Oh yeah, I was. I'm gonna have to f go f make a Barstow session, probably. I did stop them. I'm gonna put this baby at not chain. I just wanna see just how fast she can accelerate. I never saw how fast the GP40s could accelerate. I'm already doing 40. 50. 60. That's gonna be fun. She maxed out at 70. Ah. GP40 seemed to only be able to go so. No, wait. Yeah, speed limiter holds her at 70. Wait, am I actually on the outskirts of Barstow? Am I coming into Barstow? Where are you? Bakersfield? Uh, let, let me take a look. This is not Barstow. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is it? Um, no, uh... This is not Barstow, I was horribly wrong. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere! I'm outside of Barstow, I've just learned. Uh, which CP are you at? I can't answer that question, Dave. Which control point or control sighting are you at? I can't tell because I'm sprinting. I'm following the track backwards to where I was. It's that point off to the right when you go to leave Barstow. That uh. turn off to the right. I'm on that track. Where are you? Okay, you know where the hump diesels are parked? Uh, yeah, either receiving seven or receiving six. One or the other. Wait, yeah, why? Does the tra why does the track stop loading right here? Um, right. where are you? Did you pass CP Hut? No, I, I spawned at a dead end, apparently, which is not a dead end. Which way did you go? Did you go over a bridge? Or under, I should say? I went under a little bridge near a fuel track. Simply put, here's the thing. You know where the hump yard diesels are usually parked near, near, the, oh, near the other tower? You mean the bridge over by the servicing facilities? No. Simply put, let me put it this way. If you head north out of Barstow, not towards the Amtrak station where, near where our yard is working, but near the Hump Yard, head out on the, on the main line there. Oh. 
if you keep going just a little bit, there's a tight curve that takes off, goes off to the right and curves more than 180 degrees. It, it's a really tight, long curve. I've taken a big, heavy freight train there once, and then oh. you come to a passing siding. I started on the passing siding. That's where I spawned those engines when I was trying to build a consist. And for some reason, that's where they load every single time I try to load them in the damn server. Because the game is like, oh no, they're, they're supposed to be spawning right here, because that's where you built them. Yeah. By the way, um, I would have no idea where you're at. It may be because you're yawning. Shut up. You were just saying it. <laughs> You see, but I'm a person. Yeah, and so am I. White people don't have rights, David. You should know this by now. Shut up! Why? You can't handle the truth! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I've never seen that movie, but I need to. You need to watch that movie right now. What is it even called again? A Few Good Men. Yes, A Few Good Men. I will, I just have to turn my ditch lights off first. I'm starting an Amtrak train. In the middle of freaking nowhere! Wait. You're spawning an Amtrak train in the middle of nowhere. Well, not nowhere. I started it in the BNSF Yerno sub area, uh, Amtrak 35. Ah. Uh. But it doesn't tell me which yard right off the bat. I gotta start digging around to find it. Because I don't think it's marked on this tower. Oh, wait, is it? Wait, is it? Um... Last I checked, all the points over by Yermo are hand. Yeah. Oh, wait, it should say it right here. No, that's a giant diesel fuel tank. Excuse me, sir, can anyone here let me in on where the hell I am? It's a yard with no station or anything. Wait, that's the station? No, that's a small warehouse building. Beautiful. There is nothing telling me what's- I'm starting on a single track, that's all I can tell you. Hmm. Which has a dead end. And I'm on the other side? Yep, I'm starting on a dead end. Single track at the end of a yard hmm. in Kansas on the 54th of July. Are you sure Mojave is located in Kansas? No, it is not, but I just pulled that out of my ass because it sounded funny. Pardon the language. I'm gonna slow, gently start this train out at Notch 8. I still have my crossing bell on like an idiot. No broken coupler so far, so we're gonna throttle down to notch three. And we're gonna put head end power on. Wait, are you able to turn on HEPP inside the cab? Not that I know of. You might want to ask them in if there's a way to do that. I didn't see one of the list of controls. Okay. I have to use super zoom real quick for those who can read my train link, which is 1147 feet, 56 total axles, single Amtrak number 35. I don't think there's a single siding that will be able to support my train. 
total tons 974, total units 14, total DB axles 10, train mile an hour limit 0. I think the closest I'm gonna get right now is um boron. Because that's um eight thousand nine billion tons. No. Eight thousand four hundred fifty four feet long. My train is ten thousand two hundred fifty nine feet. That is the longest siding on Mojave. And in fact, if I were to get onto the boron siding, I would have to do that right now. I'm at Barstow. But I'm on a train that I don't know if it can make it to the hump yard from where it's currently standing. Um, I would um, test mm -hmm. that theory and make sure that you are uh, okay, correct. Okay, judging by that. where I'm facing, I am nowhere near freaking hump yard. I'm on the other side. Oh, over by um, the receiving yard? Yeah, but on the main line. Ah, I that have means a massive train. That means you're over, on, or near the Y. I have DPUs and helpers. That's how long my train is. Yeah, I'm octuple heading. And for those of you who didn't hear me properly, I'm octuple heading. I'm calling train G C R I G U C. I don't know what format that's in. It's a BNSF I... uh, lead unit. Okay. I don't know. Um. What that is or where it's going. I don't either, but I'm heading north or south out of Mojave, technically. Hmm. Wait, you're heading to Mojave? I'm heading out of... No, not Mojave. I'm heading out of Barstow. I'm sorry. I'm heading out... To where? Okay. Simply put, I'm leaving the same way the Amtrak train leaves the station, where it has to go from the station through the yard. Crap! Because of where train racing, you will have to be exactly one block behind me the entire time. No, two blocks block. behind me. I'm sorry. We can't. We can't do double track racing. One right next to one. One next to each other. I'll dare you no. to race to that switch, bitch. <laughs> no, because I have a 10k uh, footer. And only yards can support the length of my train. None of the sidings can support the length of my train. So I have to be first in order to uh, get to uh, Bakersfield. Which means you would have to stop at the Jim Gray siding, or Hickinley, whichever you prefer. I'm doing 20 in this massive train. Wow. How long is your train? 508 axles, 7,494 feet in length. 122 total axles. 
This is an Amtrak train, right? No, no, I moved to that other... You remember how I told you I downloaded a custom consist a long time ago? It was a heavy train I couldn't get moving. Oh. It's that one, yeah. It's um, it's just under 7,500 feet in length. It has 122 units total in terms of train cars and engines, and has 508 axles. Total hmm. tons is one hundred is fifteen thousand eight hundred and forty eight tons. Hmm. How about your HPT? HPT. Where's power per ton? Uh, two point nine. Wow. When this thing is fully loaded. I get an HPT of two, and that's when couplers start breaking. I'm doing 33 in notch six. 38 with an HPT of 7.2. And this is notch leaving eight. the yard, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm already out in the yard. I'm over. I'm approaching Boron right now. You you know that big that bridge that goes over the tracks um, back at Barstow near the inspection siding. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm heading out of. I'm heading out. I'm making a right turn right there. So oh, at down. Valley Junction? I think so. I'm just just before the, the bridge. So I'm going yeah, that's Valley now. Junction. That means your next uh, CP is a uh, hut. Okay. Let me take a look at that. Hut, you said? Yes, H-U-T-T. -T. Okay, let me see where that is. It's on the Bakersfield, or Bakersfield, Barstow, on uh, dispatch board. Oh, I see, Hut. Uh, did you add the Mojave sub to uh, your You're session? Wrong. I'm on... Mojave right now. I'm not on your mo. Did you add Bar? Did you have to add Mojave to Barstow Yermo, or did you start with um, Bar, uh, Mojave? I started with Mojave. Okay. Why? Because otherwise I'd be hitting a dead end. Yes. Oh. Because my train is so long, I can cut this massive freaking corner and observe my DPUs. Hmm. The train is just out of the siding as of now. I repeat, my train hmm. is just out of the siding. I'm on single track now doing 40. My current limit is 80. No. What kind of train are you? Freight. Like, are you intermodal? Are you auto rack? This is boxcars and shit. I'm not seeing. I didn't see a lot of intermodal or any on this train. Okay, let me check dams. I know, but I'm looking at the official limit thing right now, and it's saying 80. On what, the Shift F3 menu? Uh, you know that menu you can have come up on your MFD? Oh. I'm yeah, looking at... For, for me, that's broken. Um, that's not broken for me, that's reading 80. Because on the Amtrak train, it was reading 0 when I was on that yard track. Wow. NS7577... Mm. West side of Boron. Theoretically, it doesn't look like I should be allowed to go 80 on this. I'm on a NS tight 75, single. 77 out. I'm on a tight single track right now, doing 50. Wow. I got a bl I got a blinking yellow up ahead. Uh, then you. Would, what's your engine number and company? Uh, BNSF, and let me just look. Let's 
7467. Then that would be BNSF 7467 approach medium at CP hut. BNSF. Applying brakes now. BNSF road number out. Dropping to 46. Dropping lower. I see a crossing up ahead. Wait, you see a crossing? Yep, I just saw a truck drive across it. Cool. I'm dropping uh, for to... For you, you will have a speed limit of 55. Oh, crap. Well, I just dropped to 33, so I'm going to kick the throttle back up to notch 8. Because I was already but doing just because under... Because of your signal, um... You have a 40 mph limit. Okay, well I'm doing 32 right now. Prepare to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 mph. There's a cop car on my right side. I just pulled up the cross with the lights on. Yeah. Why are his lights on? I have no idea. And it's only his front headlights that are flashing, not the rear ones. Oh, his light bar isn't on? His light bar is on too. Uh, and his brights are on. Hmm. His brights are on! I know it's night, but you don't want to blind the freaking freight cars! You said hmm. I had a speed limit of 40? Yes. All right, I'm at 41 right now, hanging, holding 40. Okay. But that's uh, for when you pass the next signal. Well, I'm holding oh. at 40 anyways. And be prepared to stop. Where? Next signal? Yeah. Coming up? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get out and look and see how far ahead that is from where I really am. I'm gonna have to start breaking now. I got a yellow over red coming up. So still continue through that? Approach. Approach. Prepare, proceed, preparing to stop at the next signal. Trains exceeding 30 mph immediately reduce to 30 mph. Okay. Alright, let me look at what I'm... I'm dropping to 38 right now, just from coasting. 37. Oh, that means I have to drop speed in order to comply with my signal, because I have a, uh... I should probably turn slow speed on. Uh, I have approach diverging. It's funny that Fraps is degrading the frame rate so much compared to OBS. Yeah. The frame rate's Three okay, and a half though. hours of recording. 1,350 megabytes of space. Are you recording it to Demios? Nope. How do you have 1,350 megabytes of space? That's just over a gig. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so now I'm coasting. And hopefully the weight of the train behind me, which is 5,042 tons, should slow me down enough so that I pass the signal at 30. I'm passing at 28. Since you're taking a freight, I guess we might as well train race this. 
you may as well stop in g at uh, Jim Gray. I'm on my way to Hut, remember? Yeah, but, um, once, uh, you do get to Jim Gray, uh, I would suggest turning off there because I have the longer cut of cars. That depends on so, if I play around for that long. Yeah. I might want to get some sleep and you might want to as well. Yeah, I'm stopping at Boron with my cut. How far away are because, you from Boron? Uh, I'm literally at the uh, CP for Boron. Oh. Are you just going to do a straight upload? I may upload this tonight, if I remember. I suggest you do that and leave Trains a New Era to download over the night. Well, I can't do both. Well, then let Trains download tonight and let the video upload one while you're gone to school. Actually, cop actually um, stopped at my crossing. Hmm. Does he have his light bar on? Yep. Cool. But I'm now in notch eight, have zero amps, and I'm going thirty on the nose. Oh, God damn it. Um, I see my Jota. red signal. I see my red signal. I think, yes. we might be, I think we might be in trouble. Yeah. It's right before a railroad crossing. Awesome. Um, Jonah? I need to break. Where's the break? Jonah, I'm royally screwed. Why? Because I have to foul the main line. In fact, I've... I have to foul the main line in the first place because of how long my cut of cars is. But there's a railroad crossing going through... The yard. The, the siding. Really? Yep. That's illegal. I know. Why? I have no Who choice. puts a railroad crossing in the center of a yard? Sighting. Doesn't matter. Apparently the people who made them down. Whoever made Boron is a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Uh, we don't mean that in a serious way. <laughs> no. Well, you might not. Or, I, well, you might, but I don't. I, I don't, but it's still one of the things of why? Yeah. <laughs> Quarter mile out from the signal, current speed 17 miles an hour. 30 on the nose, and I'm about a quarter mile out from my signal. Applying brakes hard. And then I literally have all of Boron oh, to crap. go through um, to reach um, my stop. I'm gonna overshoot the signal slightly. PCS is open. I repeat, PCS is open. Jonah, the emergency emergency brake is Shift F5. I didn't do that, I was holding the brakes down for a bit and then PCS Open just came on. Well now you know the super emergency brake. Did I set that point to reverse? Yes, I did. Good. I stopped just slightly after the signal and I'm gonna end my recording shortly. Weren't you supposed to play around with the hump yard in Barstow? 
to explain why the hump yard is called the hump yard? I was supposed to, but as you and I know, against my better, uh, for better judgment reasons, I should at least get some sort of sleep, but I'm going to try and save my game first. So we can continue yeah. from tomorrow. Let's see, how do I save? Let's see, extra board, BNSF, Bakersfield. No, that's not what I wanted to save. What do I call this thing? I don't remember the name of my train. There we go. Um, don't worry. The I first one I remember is MRWCW or WC2. I know what to save my train. I know as. what to save mine as I save the consist correctly. I know what to save mine as. Oh, and I see the red thing. I see this ah uh, ah uh, uh, red aspect all the way down at the other end of boron. You see what? I see the red aspect. All the way down at the other end of Boron. Um, I may have to foul the main a lot. Excuse me, I may just have to fuck up everything. Pay no attention. Yeah. And once again, pardon the language. Yeah. You can edit that if you need to. I'm not. Which is the reason why I say that every time you drop bomb. Yeah, I'm trying not to. And for the most part, we've been pretty clean. I will. You have to admit that. Yeah. Um. I mean, hey, you dropped a, a nuclear F in, in the first, you know, five seconds of the of the first, like, 30 seconds of the, the trainsim.com video. Yeah. It's like, hey, I... everyone, da 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 Hey, effers. Oh, well, there goes our language barrier. <laughs> it... There was good intent behind that one, though. Um, my lead unit's on the point. Um. <laughs> it's um... on the frog. Um, why? <laughs> because that's where the PCS put me. This is the reason why Shift F5 exists. You're not going to believe this, but just out of hilarity, because I just did exactly as this the name of this gas station uh, said. It's called Stop and Save. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, there's gonna be a slight jump cut, folks, because when I tried to take a screenshot of that, I hit F9 rather than F10. Oh god, I just realized the F10 key is the screenshot key, and it's also the refresh everything key. <laughs> I may have just taken a picture of a dark sky. This is the reason why I have F8 as the screenshot key for Steam. Um, there's also a truck parked here, which has its lights on and stuff, like it's actually parked. Like as if I'm the doing this sleeping. way too early, but the whistle marker is in the wrong, semi in the wrong spot. <laughs> the whistle marker is in the semi. <laughs> there's a semi truck pulled over by a police car here. Wow. Oh. oh. I that is realistic. In fact, it's so realistic that there's this broke... There's... Well, actually, I might be at Hut right now. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, Jonah. Good thing I've learned about whistle markers in Jeevos is that, um... At around the same time, the, um... The whistle marker hits the bottom of, uh, or the bottom of the whistle marker reaches the top of your dash. That's a good time to start doing the long, long, short, long. It's 
especially if you're going at Amtrak speeds. You there? Yeah, I am. Don't worry. Okay. But yeah, I figured out. Wait, if you're in a P42 or Jevo, wait until the whistle, the bottom of the whistle marker is at the top of your dash. Okay, folks. Um, I think. Are you still recording? Yes, I am. How much longer? Uh, not too super long. Alright, I'm gonna end the recording on my end. So, for Master Key's recording, I've been in Alpha, Alpha 1, or Admiral been, Meep. And this has been Delta, it's Delta 6, or Digitrax 83, or Master Key. And, or uh, Skrilly. Yeah, or DJ Skrilly. Um, and, uh, this has been our recording session, my side at least, of Run 8 Train Simulator. And for those of you who have uh, started from the beginning of Master Key's video, he enters about 2 hours 17 minutes into my video. Yep, that's correct. Um, so, without further ado, this has been the end of my recording. Please continue watching his. I'll put a link in the description once his video is uploaded. And, uh, yeah. Have fun. And his video ends at around 3 hours 40 minutes. Yep, that's correct. For me. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.